Hello parents, this is Lisa Partain. Mrs. Partain, I am doing this video to help you navigate your child's um, Wonders workbook and how to save material on it for your teacher to review. So I'm gonna quickly, as much as possible, <laughs> um, share some information straight from the screen for you. So as soon as I can get up what I need to, we can begin. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to start with a student um, that uh, that I can use really quickly. And if you either got a digital um, login for your child on a, a document like this, or your child is um, taped into the inside of their planner, so you're either going to type this URL into their um, into your browser, or you might be able to click on this if you got a PDF file of this. And once you do, you can save this screen. But I'm going to launch this um, for um, my student. And since he's in my class, he's going to see the, all the classrooms for ACA when he logs in like that. And um, your child would go ahead and go into your teacher's classroom and find their picture icon with their name. Sometimes there's a duplicate, so being careful. And enter the three digit code that they were given on their password and click on login. And once they do that, that's gonna take them to their personal binder or work, work pages after they click on this one link. So your child's page may have the workbook page and a reader library, or it just might have a workbook page. So you're gonna click on the grade one wonders, or you can click on launch, which was there as well. And that's gonna open up their personal binder of resources. So these are directed just to your students. So there's a to-do, there's a words area, there's a writing area, games for that week, all the games that match all the types of skills we're working on that week in reading, and also, um, I can't see this, the reading library as well. All right, so I'm gonna go into the to-do because that's where your assignments are gonna be located. And you're gonna click on the to-do list and it's going to open up your child's personal like binder of, of assignments. Now I've got a couple of assignments in here that are already checked off because those are already completed. But I wanted to use this one as an example for you today on how to save things that are in their paper workbook. So your child should also have their paper workbook at home for wonders, but this is the way to save their work digitally and not have to take pictures and send them back every time. So it's a little bit easier for you. So I'm going to click on this. Um, I, I would click on this assignment if I wasn't already on this page. And once I'm here, it will describe to me what the instructions were from your teacher for this assignment. So it says complete the bubble map and submit to your teacher. All right, so I'm gonna actually go into the little icon here that shows me a picture, tiny, of what that resource is. And it's gonna open up the page that has where I want, your teacher wants your student to fill out the information. So it will, this will be something you would do after you've read the story. And so it's going to ask you to reread the story and find out what makes the text a biography and all the other information. And once you're done, your child's ready to fill out, they're gonna actually click on one of the bubbles or one of the spaces that are available for them to write in. And it's gonna open up a box at the top where they can either have you type it in or you can have them work on their typing skills too. So that'd be the same time. Um, so they will type in um, what answers the questions to the side. I'm just making up things right now. And then click add. So when they do that, that's going to show up in this box. And then they can click on the next box. All right. And once they're all finished with all the boxes, um, all you're going to do on the page that looks like this, there's no save on this page. Now I have other things open at the bottom as well, which doesn't help, but there's no save at the bottom of my page for a workbook page. This isn't a separate document, so you won't see a little save button. You're actually just going to go up here to the top and you're going to close the window. And when you close the window, it's going to say leave and it's not gonna save your work. Well, that's wrong. It actually is gonna save your work. So I'm gonna do that again for you. Once you're in this document, 
and you filled out what you are, see it's still there, you're gonna hit close on the window and, oops, let me try that again because I didn't write anything new so it didn't have anything to say. So let's pretend I'm gonna fill out one more box for you. Being funny. Actually, let me be funnier. <laughs> anyway, and okay, I've added something new. So now when I close it, it should say, leave site, changes you made may not be saved. Okay, it is actually saving it. It doesn't give you any, uh, any way to save. So you're gonna go ahead and click leave. And it is going to save your students work, don't worry. When you're done, your child can write a note to the teacher. Wherever you click in this box, it's gonna start typing. So you can move it all the way over to the left and begin and say, Mrs. Partain, I am finished with All right, and then click on Submit. Your teacher will then get it. You'll get a confirmation to say your assignment's been submitted, and you can just click OK. If your child wants to do other things in here, they are welcome to. You can either go down to the quick keys down here and play games in here. There are many different games, grammar games, spelling games, um, if you scroll down a little bit on the side, you'll get a bar that goes across and there's the bird word building game for spelling. There's a lot of phonics activities, just many, many different things, sentence structure, all different kinds of things your student can explore when they want to, when you have time, none of those are required, but they're always a little bit fun to play. So once you're done with all of this, your student can log out and they're done for the day. And that should, be everything that helps you get your student on the workbook, clicking and saving things and sending it back to your teacher where they can easily review it and give your child some feedback on their work. Thanks so much for listening to us today. If you have questions, please contact your teacher and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks. We miss you guys. Bye.